Hi everybody, I'm Brandon. I'm joined by Randall. Today we're going to talk about software development kits and how you can get started using them to interact with AWS services. So Randall, can you tell me a little bit about what a SDK is and why you might use it? Sure. So a software development kit, like you said, an SDK, is a really common way of interacting with APIs and services, and it provides a language and idiomatic wrapper around the, the API that you're interacting with. So the AWS SDKs, for instance, make it really easy to interact with all the AWS APIs. And since almost all of our services are API driven, you basically go out and say, in Python or Java or whatever language you want, I want you to make a call to this service and I want you to give me the result without me having to really write any of the complex request parsing logic mm -hmm. or even the retry logic and all the other kind of subcomponents that go into making a reliable SDK. So really, it just kind of enables you to start using these services more quickly and in a way that you would expect based on the language or platform that you're operating in. Exactly. So you don't have to be a you know, HTTP genius to be able to call out to an AWS API in Java or Python. You just say import mm -hmm. the SDK. Cool. So we have SDKs for a variety of languages from .NET, C++, Go, Ruby, uh, JavaScript, pretty much anything that you could think of. And we also have some uh, development kits for targeting mobile devices. So if you're building on top of Android or iOS or building on top of mobile development frameworks like Xamarin or Unity, we also have development kits for that. Uh, there's also some development kits that let you play with some specific services like an Alexa-enabled device or if you're building something on for the IoT or maybe using CloudFormation, there's development kits that can help you get going with that as well. So you're a big fan of Python. Uh, You've got a demo ready, don't you? I am a pretty big fan of Python. So I've, I've opened a Jupyter Notebook over here, and this is just a really common Python programming environment or iterative development environment that people use to run experiments. And I wanted to show you Bodo3. And Bodo3 is the canonical Python SDK. So it's the way that you go and use uh, AWS resources with Python. And it's called Bodo, by the way, because of the Amazon River Dauphin. So there's a, a, a dolphin in the Amazon River called the Boto, and so they named the Amazon Web Services SDK the, the Boto. That's super cool. I did not know that. Nor did I. Uh, so to get started, we just say import Boto3, and then we could start using one of the services. Mm -hmm. So what's a service we might want to try out? Uh, how about uh, Amazon Comprehend do some text sentiment analysis? Awesome. Amazon Comprehend. We can do that. So we'll just say comp equals Boto3.client. And this client is going to read from all of my local configuration. It's going to get my access credentials and all that other good stuff, create a, a, a nice little wrapper that I can call out to comprehend for. So I'll say call out to comprehend. And since I've defined my region already, it'll go and populate that. And now I get some nice tab completion. And we wanted to detect the sentiment of something, right? Mm -hmm. So we can say detect sentiment. Uh, and I'll say that the uh, text is going to be, I think that SDKs are really cool. And then I'll pass in a language code. And that language code is going to be English, because that's what we're speaking today. And you can see the sentiment is pretty overwhelmingly positive. And we just get that back. And it comes back as this nice Python dictionary. And I can use that throughout the rest of my program mm -hmm. as just a regular Python object. Cool. So now you can see how easy it is to get started using SDKs to interact with AWS services. To get started, go to aws.amazon.com tools to learn more. Thanks for joining us.